Lesson 1 The Advent of Islam in India Hello everyone In this lesson we will learn about Islam religion Hazrat Muhammad Sahab was the prophet of Islam He was born in 570 AD His message was God is one the three basic principles of Islam are economic equality, social equality, and brotherhood. Muhammad Sahab determined five principles of life for the people who believed in Islam are Kalma, Namaz, Roza, Zakat and Hajj. Mecca and Medina are pilgrimages of Islam religion. Migration from Mecca to Medina is referred as Hijri Samwat, which was started from 622 AD. Let us know about the invasion of Islam in India. Muhammad bin Qasim was the first Muslim general who invaded India in 712 AD. Muhammad bin Qasim defeated Sindh ruler Raja Dahir and captured Sindh. So, he was the first Muslim ruler to initiate early Islamic India. Now, moving to the next Muslim ruler, Mahmud Ghazni. Mahmud Ghazni invaded India with the aim to loot the wealth of India and to propagate Islam in India. So, he looted Somnath Temple, got lot of money and spread Islam religion in India. Al-Biruni was the contemporary of Mahmud Ghazni. Al-Biruni wrote a book named tehqeeq e hind in which he described about the culture, religion, caste and creed of India. Now come to the next Muslim ruler, Muhammad Ghori. Muhammad Ghori was a Turkish king who came to India for not only propagating Islam but also establishing the Muslim empire. Muhammad Ghori fought the Battle of the Rhine with Prithviraj Chauhan in 1191 in which he was defeated but in next Battle of the Rhine in 1192 he became victorious and succeeded in establishing Muslim empire. The victory of Muhammad Ghori paved way for the Turks to India which resulted in the beginning of Sultanate period.